Hello, um, welcome to another game tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a 3D spherical text effect in GIMP 2.8. This tutorial only works in GIMP 2.8, so I've heard. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to create a new layer. Well, kind of. So I'm going to create a new. I'm going to make it my desktop because I want it, hopefully, as my desktop background when I do another one. So yeah, we're going to create a new one. I'm going to do a white. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my gradient. I'm going to grab like a whitish gray so it's a nice, I'm going to get radial. I'm going to go, oops, other way. So, oh, come on. I just flipped the colors. Okay, so after that's done, then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to make it 300 by 300. I'm going to duplicate that so it has three total. Now, on this layer, I'm going to turn off the other two. On this, the first one, I'm going to pick a blue-ish. So I'm going to go with this light blue that I use, and I'm going to just fill it in. Next, I'm going to get my text, and I am going to type the first letter of the word. Okay, then you're going to highlight it, size it up. You can't see a thing, but I'm going to make it white. And yeah, so now I'm going to move it so it's somewhat centered. There we go. Next we're going to select it, select the scale tool, and take it and just put where you put in the numbers. Oh, come on. Why are you not looking? You're going to cut it exactly in half. So 250 divided by 2 somewhat. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm going to put in 125. Too much. Too less. And then center it once again. Go to filters, math. Now this is the part that you really need to pay attention. So math, map object. Oh crap. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so you're gonna merge the G and the blue layer together. So merge it down. Then go to filters, map, map object. We're going to map it to a sphere. Transparent background. Then you're going to go to the light. I'm going to just leave it. Material. Leave it. And I'm going to rotate. Oh. And then make sure that update preview live is on so you can see it exactly. You can put it exactly where you want it. And then just Make sure that none of them are the exact same number. And it can be a little challenging at times. Once you have what you wanted, click OK. Then it becomes that cube letter with a G on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to size it up just a little bit. 
so I sized it up and that's how you do a very simple one you can like you don't have to do as many letters it just depends on how many letters you have so yeah and then I'm just gonna move it to where I want it a little too big I guess like that and just mess around with it um thank you for watching this tutorial uh, I hope you enjoyed it if not uh, just yeah. If you enjoyed this video, uh. Don't